California dreaming about you. Hey guys, Simcoder here, and today we are going to actually start writing code for our um, novel launcher project. So we are going to do just a tiny bit today. We are going to start easy and we are going to start by messing with the Android manifest file uh, with getting the, the activities uh, XML layout uh, somewhat um, stored. So let's uh, go ahead and just start a new Android project. Let's click there. Okay, I'm going to call it Nova launcher clone okay company name it will be simcoder.com let's remove that okay no i'm not going to do include c++ support and i'm not going to include kotlin support so we can move right ahead okay now i'm going to choose phone and tablet i'm going to leave it at api 15 click next and Right now, you can choose between a number of uh, activities, but I'm going to choose the empty activity and I'm going to do everything myself. So let's go next. And the first activity will be main activity and we can go ahead and create it. So now just leave it some time to, to load up the project. Okay, after that's done, you should be in a page similar to this one in the main activity. And the first thing that we are going to do is to go into manifests, into your android manifest.xml file. And the reason why we're here is because we must change uh, some things in our activity main activity, which is the main one. And this one will be the, the, the launcher itself. And so we must tell the phone that it has this application installed that this is supposed to be a launcher that this is supposed to run as a home screen. And so we have a couple of things that we can add that will uh, trigger that event. So the, the only one in the one that's really important is the home category. So I'm just going to copy this. And I'm going to say home. OK, and I'm going to add yet another one, which will be default. And by adding these two, you, you will, uh, when you run the app, run it as an, uh, a launcher, a home screen. And the thing about home screens is that they are, in reality, just normal uh, apps. The only thing is that, well, you, when you click the home button, you are taken to that app. So when you, when you have Nova Launcher, EV Launcher, all of these launchers, they are in reality apps like any other uh, app. The only difference is that they have these two lines in their Android manifest which tells the, the phone that, well, when you click the home button, you want to be taken to this app and not to another thing completely different. So that's the, the only trick that you must know. And by adding these two, you already have a launcher. Okay, so now I'm going to add a couple more things in to on top. So go up here and I'm going to add a style. So I'm going to just say app team, which will be the same as this one up top, but I believe I'm going to change it. So I'm going to add it right away. Um, and you are going to say launch mode. And I believe it is single task, yeah. And I'm going to add state not needed and set it to true. So now when you launch the app, it should be running. And actually, I'm going to do it right now. So wait a second. So I've launched the app. And as you can see, I mean the, the main activity. It doesn't have anything. And if I go into preview, it should load up just hello world. So that's what we have. And when I click home, you will see that it doesn't get out of this application. And it, that's because of the lines that we added in here. Another thing is when you, we go into the drawer, nothing appears. This is an app, but it doesn't appear in the drawer uh, page. So it is really interesting. And if you go back, okay, you get the point. So I'm going to move on and we are going to start working on the main layout. So let's jump into the activity main and uh, we are going to leave this as is 
The only difference is that we are going to add a linear layout in here. We are going to set it to match parent and the height to wrap content. The orientation uh, that will be vertical. And I don't believe we'll have more than one object in here, but it is just to so that we can in the future. And now, um, so the way we are going to, to do this, let me just explain it first, is we are going to have the, this linear layout, which will be uh, all of the screen. So it will contain all of the apps that we want in our um, home screen. And then we'll have another view below, which will be uh, a linear layout as well or something like that but it will be uh, it will have a trigger which is called uh, not a trigger a behavior that's called bottom sheet behavior and um, I'm going to use that because it gives you a nice swipe up from the drawer and by having that you'll have I'm not going to place like a bottom row for with the drawer button I'm going to have that gesture so you swipe up to to bring on the the drawer that's one of the dif different things that I want to do from novel launcher and it is just because I find the the gesture really cool because uh, currently I'm not using a uh, novel launcher I'm using the Microsoft launcher and it has this feature and I believe it is really awesome and and so I'm going to implement that instead of the bottom row so yeah and in the, this linear uh, layout, you'll have a view pager. And that's so that uh, the user can swipe through multiple pages, just as you do on your normal um, uh, lay, uh, launcher. So view pager. OK. And I believe we will go with match parent. Match parent, OK. Let's give it an ID of view pager, okay? And now uh, we'll jump into the bottom, the drawer of the, the app. So we are going to use a frame layout. We are going to do width match parent and height wrap content. And before we move forward and do the bottom sheet, uh, sheet um, layout, I'm going to first of all go into my Gradle script, and you should too. And we have to add um, one uh, dependency, which is the design dependency. I was forgetting about it, but it is really important, otherwise, we won't be able to do it. So let's say com.android.support dot constraints uh, two points constraints oh not this one I was <laughs> getting ahead of myself it we already have the constraint layout so I'm going to actually just uh, import the design so support two points design and let's say 27.1.1 which is the version of this okay let's sync it now see if everything goes right okay so now we can go back to our layout and we can uh, add the um, the bottom sheet uh, behavior so first of all let's set the style style app team uh, not app team actually it is going to be widget dot design dot bottom uh, cheat model okay we are going to add app dot uh, two points behavior hideable and we are going to set this to false false in between quotes Let's see what's up with this and android not 
and draw it one app. But yeah, let's go ahead and add the, the others and we'll look at this later. Something is missing, but yeah. Then let's add the peak height. And we are going to set it to 90 dp. And let me just explain to you both of these lines. So the behavior idable um, is just so that the user cannot completely close the, the, the layout. Uh, always a strip of 90 dp will be peeking out. And I'm doing this uh, just so that we can test it. It will be much easier. So yeah, let's go on and say app two points layout behavior equals to string bottom cheat behavior. Okay, so I, I was looking around at this error, but I can't find the reason for it. So I'm going to actually remove it and add it in the code itself. So yeah, no worries, we can add it. It just, it isn't liking it here for some reason, but yeah, we can live without it. And inside the, the frame layout, which has this behavior, we'll have the grid layout. We are going to set it to match parents, wrap content, and just going to add a couple of things. So the ID will be the drawer grid, the number of columns, which we have to add yet another thing, I believe. Whereas Android schemas. Okay, so Android num columns equals two, four. And this will set the, num uh, the, the number of columns in this grid layout to four. And this is one of the things that we'll be able to change. But because of the, the, the quirks of the grid layouts, we only can set the columns, we can set the rows. And so we have to, to set the number of rows by the height of the, the items themselves. But we'll look at it in the, in the ne next lesson, so don't worry. You'll say set the uh, Android and Droid stretch mode to column width, and we'll set the gravity to center. Okay, uh, I believe that's all. I believe I didn't forget anything. Oh. We actually just forgot the ID in here, so I'm going to add it now. And I'm going to call him it bottom shit. Okay? And yeah, that's it. Um, now we have our view pager, and this view pager will extend a grid layout, which we'll do in the next lessons. Uh, but for now, uh, we'll start working on the Let's create the, the, the layout for the view pager. I believe that's the best thing to do. So yeah, it is just a grid layout. So I'm going to actually just take this and go in here, layout, and I'm going to create. So I'm going to say item pager, and this will correspond to every single page of the in the pager. So let's just copy and paste the grid layout there, and that's it. We don't need to do anything else. Now uh, we have to uh, design the each the layout for each and every single uh, app that we show. Oops, and that we are going just to to place an image view and a text view, and we'll be done with it. So it is uh, really simple. Come in here and say item app item app. And instead of a constraint layout, we are going to use a linear layout. We're going to set the orientation to vertical. And the height 
will be set to wrap content the width will be set to wrap content as well we'll set the padding of this whole thing to 5 sp and we'll set the id to id app layouts okay so yeah now we are going to add an image view it will be with match parent height wrap content we'll set a margin of 10 uh, sp and we'll set the id to image you can also set the source if you want a um, placeholder for the app so let's say i don't know uh, let's say mip map okay mip map i see launcher and this will appear just so that you can see easily what we are doing and now let's take care of the text view which will contain the name of the oops of the app so the width will be match parent and the height will be match parent as well so that we can fill out any space that's left now let's say a, a, a text uh, an app name just so that we can see what we are doing let's set the id to app label let's set the text size to 12 sp and this is one of the things that we can change uh, in the settings of our launcher that better yet that we will be able to change let's set the text color to white because that's how uh, most uh, apps have it so uh, android color white and now let's set a shadow for the text and that's because we don't know with what uh, background image the, the user is going to use so it is better to to have a contrast and so let's use a shadow for that so the shadow color will be black and now we set the shadow radius to 10 sp so that it becomes uh, somewhat big okay now set the test alignment to center and we are all set and done so yeah we have our uh, three layouts that we will need uh, ready now all that's left is to actually start coding some things uh, but we'll leave that to the next lesson uh, because we've done a lot we've done a lot in this lesson so yeah um, yeah in the next lesson i believe we'll start uh, populating the the drawer or at least get things ready to that, do that so build the app objects build an adapter for that and actually i don't know maybe we'll leave the getting the apps for a separate lesson but we'll see so yeah but it is all for uh, today thank you all very much for watching i hope to you again tomorrow and ciao